Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. This is Dr. Muhammad Awas and you are watching Dr. Square. Today we are going to discuss a very important tool that is called AI Lies. As you can see on the screen, there is a paper that is published in Social Sciences and Humanities Open, which actually showcases how ALIs was used to quickly sift through the data and identify initial themes. Then you can of course manually refine them. And in another paper, it also got featured in a case study from Cornell University. And actually this study wins this award as well. It basically explores how it can be used to analyze media content. So in today's video, we are going to explore how ALIs works. We are going to know a valuable tool in academic research. Before advancing further, if you haven't subscribed our channel yet, go and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the bell icon button. This is the main interface of that website. You can write in your browser AILIES.com or else you can go to the description of this video and hit the link that is provided there. You need to create an account if you are a new user and you can create a free trial account just to know what the functions of this website are. I already have an account. I am already logged in. So I am going to my projects. You can drop your files here. If you scroll down, these are the features that AILIES currently offer. This is the most interesting one, but I will come to this shortly. Let's start from this get data. You can paste one URL or you can paste multiple URLs. I'm going to copy this and paste here. Upload. Okay, submit URLs. It is ready, super quick. Download results. There's one document file and there's one summary. Let's open the document file. So NVO leading qualitative data analysis software Lumivero. Okay, this is the title of this web page and then source, then image URL. Good text available on that URL on that web page. If you scroll down, okay, everything in simplest form that is available on that URL. And then you can use Python scripts to process it in any way you want. Get data is done. Let's explore this one. So AI interviewer, chat now. So these languages are available. Let's keep it English for now and chat now. I'm not going to engage in a discussion with her for now because I don't know the policies whether I can upload it later or not. But this is how by talking to her, you can actually train yourself or your students about how to conduct qualitative interviews. Of course, there's an AI limitation, you know. Anyways, this was very interesting too. Let's go back. So get data scraping websites. Speak AI interviewer. Translate files. As the very name suggests, this is about translating files into different languages. Transcribe. We have talked a lot about how to do transcription on our channel. These two are abundantly available in the market. So I'm not going to explore these because you already know better than me. Let's talk about some more serious business. Let's analyze some data sheets. It will ask you to upload a file, data file I mean data sheet. I already have a data sheet opened in which the news, this text column is about climate change news from the dawn and then there is a date and then total words in this news story. Climate finance is discussed and then adaptive measures and agriculture is discussed. Let's see how AI Lies is going to deal with this document. Just drag and drop the file here. The document is uploaded. Analyze all columns in survey. For now, I'm not interested in that. I only interested in getting the text data analyzed. So I'm going to select this one. Okay, choose columns to analyze. I know the text is the right column. So I'm going to select it. And then optional instructions. Let's say identify five themes and several sub themes for each theme. Okay, let's see how quickly it is going to analyze this column. So identify top themes and sub themes. It's 12 AM. It is done within a minute. Okay, so these are the themes. Climate and environmental issues. Okay, not bad. Agriculture and food security. Remember, we have seen some news about uh, agriculture, health and public safety and infrastructure and development, politics, diplomacy and social issues. This is interesting as a certified expert of two top cited qualitative data analysis softwares. This is going to disrupt the market. It will not stop here. It will ask me if I want each row to be coded in spreadsheet based on these themes and sub themes. Even the coding is not required. Let's explore this. Request submitted. Okay, they will notify me via email. Got it. I received that email. Your project has been successfully completed. 
in just three or four minutes. So let's go back, open this project. So the project is ready. So this is the table of content, frequency analysis, sub themes, frequency analysis, code book, hierarchy graph, co-occurrence, word cloud, word cloud bar chart, data code with the A themes. Let's explore the write-up. We can download as document and we can further chat to generate report or chart. So innovative and sustainable framing. Okay. This is synthesis. Scroll down. We I'm scrolling down. Okay, so this is frequency analysis theme. This comes 14 times. Raw numbers, percentage, okay. And uh, source wise, since we have already one source. Okay, so 27, 51, and that's true. And then sub themes, okay. The same thing in sub themes. Code book, 14, 18, and 34 references, okay. And then this visual graph, root, this theme, and then these sub themes, amazing. Then co network graph that I usually do with Python, but here you don't need any coding. So this is environmental activism and awareness, climate finance. We can zoom in to see the relationship between different codes. And then what else? Word cloud is also there. And the good thing is about word cloud, you don't need to put T-H-E and search words into stop word. It automatically did everything we can download this in png okay innovative and sustainable farming and it actually gives some related course as well and that too without giving any prompt from my side i asked it to go as you want to go but if we want to customize we can actually do that by giving our personal prompts do this do that just like we do with chat gpt or any other generative ai tool go to the main page now let's explore this pdf files hit here it asks me to upload files again the same procedure to test this i have downloaded a fresh copy of some news uh, these all news are from new york times and the condition i give to nexus you need to get the news is headline word should come in headings for example if you open any one of the news you will see environment word in the heading and the source is from new york times so 50 news are there in this folder. You can imagine in your mind that we can upload actually interviews. We can actually upload our focus group data or whatever qualitative data you have. So I'm going to upload all these 40 on that platform. The files uploaded successfully. So what can I get from these files? I can get summary. We can get themes, codebook and frequency analysis just like we got for previous sheets project. Get answers to questions and frequency analysis. Okay, let's explore this. Compare across segments, uh, gender type of publication. Since we don't have any other source, so I'm not going to select this one. If you have more than one source in your news data, if you have more than one interviewees in your data, and then if you want to compare the findings, you can select this option. Next, option instructions. Let's explore this one first. Name of the project, prefer language of response. Uh, I will let ALIs to decide. Next, okay, so get AI generated themes, use your own themes or code book. I don't have any code book for now, let's say. So AI generated themes. So it is considering all 50 files and generating AI themes. So environmental policy and political dynamics, partisan divide on environmental issues. Okay, so regulatory changes and uh, what are the optional instructions? I want ALIs to mention some direct text from the files. So I wrote add text from the files where necessary. Save. So I can actually give questions here. What are your research questions, for example? So for each research question, list the viewpoints, topics you want a document frequency analysis, for example, for, for, for the question, how effective was it? You can list very effective, effective and not effective as frequency analysis and AI will count how many documents said very effective blah blah with its own dictionary definition. I wrote what has been the latest focus of the New York Times in its environmental news coverage format into list. So we can test question prompt on file as well. For now I am going to save it. So here you, you can choose whether you are getting it written in academic format, evaluation, market and product research. 
thematic analysis, evaluation research, linguistic analysis, policy, and systematic review. Codebook analysis, ground theory analysis, narrative analysis, discourse analysis, content analysis. Let's select discourse analysis, thematic analysis, and then discourse analysis. Finish. So task is submitted and uh, you will receive an email once the project is complete. Okay. So the ALI is processing our project. 25% processing is completed. Let's refresh. 29. The analysis completed. There are 49 documents. Maybe I missed one out of those 50. By the way, as a free user, you can upload up to 50 documents. I'm using Pro Plan, so maybe I mistakenly didn't uh, upload one file out of those 50. Anyways, 49 are also enough. So going to open this. So it gives us title as well and then summary, world cloud, everything. Let's scroll down to see what it actually gives us. So summary is here. So this is the code book, climate change and sustainability. Okay, they focused on climate change and sustainability and then environmental justice and community impact in the latest 50 news and then world cloud environment climate new section could year single pollution administration so these are the keywords that are showing on world cloud so bar chart now this time they give general english as well the said new mr times and then environmental related scroll down in orange you can see environmental related climate gas oil change emissions wonderful that we cannot even do with envivo and then what is this green all about politics and government amazing so trump president company administration use government and then uh, about geography so it's about new york so i'm going to download this analysis as word document gave me three files Report, no citation with citations and no individual analysis or citations. If you're not comfortable reading your analysis on the website, then you can download this file and open it in MS Word. Okay, so table of content, summary, analysis across all documents, analysis of individual documents, frequency analysis again from about these sub themes. This is question and the result of this question and then again frequency analysis. Okay, so if we scroll down, we will see it added some footnotes as well by the way. Okay, 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 okay. So this is how you can get your qualitative data analyzed using AI Lies. And that's bring us to the end of today's walkthrough on AI Lies. This tool is not just another AI buzzword, but a serious contender in the future of qualitative research. So we have seen how it can assist with thematic analysis, port text processing, and even contribute to peer-reviewed academic publications. I talked about it in the intro of this video. But AI Lies should not be a replacement for your critical thinking or theoretical insight. It should be used as an accelerator because it helps you organize, visualize and refine your data so that you can focus on the interpretation and meaning making. And as academic researchers and teachers, we should know about such tools. So if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe and share it with your fellow researchers. And if you have used ALIs or any other AI tool in your academic work, I would love to hear your experiences in the comments below. If you decide to go for a pro version of this tool, don't forget to use this promo code which will give you extra benefits. Until next time, keep questioning, keep analyzing and keep pushing the boundaries of research. Thank you very much for watching this video.